final series of the night here on MLE.GG2. We have Champion League Series 2's match once again. We have the Pandas at the Sharks. The Sharks, they only need one game here to clinch for playoffs, while the Pandas, they're still in contention to make the playoffs. But I'm Xandar57 once again, joined by Mr. Bepic. And Mr. Bepic, we have another epic series here, Champion League 2's and it's gonna be another big one. Yes, this is another big one, fighting for the lead of the Tropic Division. Of course, the Sharks, they have a pretty firm grip on that division, but the Pandas still can contest. The Sharks, they can completely clinch playoffs tonight with a 5-0 win. That's, that's the only way they get in without other results going their way elsewhere. Um, of course, there, there's a flurry of other things that have to happen if they don't reach that five-win mark tonight. But we will, uh, we'll get to that later on down the road. The, the Sharks, they have had a very, very good season so far. 10-1 in series, 41-14 and 14 in games. They are first overall in the conference, so they are the team to beat. We'll have to see if the Pandas can keep pace with them. Xandar, you think the, uh, this Pandas squad can keep pace with the Sharks team? Well, we'll certainly have to find out. They may have to go either swimming or if they really want to, they'll go a little bit fishing. They want some shark fin soup. Certainly not very tasty to me, but maybe to a panda it may be. They're really looking to get that shark meat, make it taste good, put some spices on it because it's going to be maybe an ugly one, but it may go either direction because both these teams definitely top of the leaderboard with both of them being in that Tropic Division. Two's matches with Hobo and Bledsoe against Gobertos uh, and Woozle. It's looking like it's just going to be a pretty even matchup, but the way that I've seen Bledsoe and Hobo play for that Sharks team, it's going to be an epic matchup, or it's just going to be an absolute blowout. Yeah, and uh, of course the Pandas with them not being in their the first place in their division right now they are fighting for the wild card positioning and at the moment they are only a game or two ahead of that sixth seed so they need games in this series to keep pace and make sure their seeding is as good as it can possibly get but i'm sure these pandas want to beat the number one shark squad and that one going to start off with an own goal right there the sharks stick that one uh, in their own net uh, oh, we uh, yeah we are uh, yeah that was another uh, uh, no, that was just a mistake on the production side so we'll get that match wrapped up quickly here. All right, that was that's just good. another test. That was just another test lobby, but I guess just continuing this on the Sharks, they're shooting about three point seven goals per game, uh, with that being eight point five shots per game compared to the Pandas three point two goals and. 7.9 shots so right now it's a little bit even a little bit of course on the stat sheet a little bit more in favor of the sharks but certainly not going to be a matchup that's going to be too much in the favor of them because it's just still going to be one for the ages because the gladiators they want to take down one another they either want the shark meat or they want the bamboo and the pandas they do not share their bamboo yeah, that uh, that is completely right. As hopefully for real this time, we are about to get into this series. The Sharks, they are the clear favorite. So as I often say for underdogs, I want to see them get their wheels underneath them in this series early. I want to see them scoring goals and taking possession from this Sharks team early on here. And it's gonna come down to their midfield play, I'm thinking. That's a good beat right off the bat by the Pandas to prevent the Sharks from getting any offense of their own and in fact it is a goal for the Pandas just like in that fake lobby a second ago this time it's just it's not an own goal it's an actual goal by the Pandas that they did a great job of getting. Alberto's takes that one the demo comes through and of course the Pandas on top but certainly not gonna leave the Sharks high and dry but once again the kickoff gonna go in the way of the Pandas but sent right back down to the midfield Alberto's Gonna send this one high in the sky. It's gonna let this one float down. Hits off the back. We're not gonna be touched by a Sharks defender. And Woozle gonna be here. Gets the 50. Good touch. And Hobo 
there to clean up the mess, but of course still here in the Sharks in Bloodstone. Catch this one on top of this car, good beat on the 50, and Galberto's gonna get bumped for his effort. Luzo gonna lift in the air. Another shot on Galberto's, his second within 60 seconds. He is on fire. Yeah, he is, and Woozle with the fake aerial, it had to be respected by Hobo in the Sharks' defense, but they ended up leaving it for Galbertos, and so the Pandas striking early, exactly what I wanted to see out of this underdog team. They need to keep this offense going, and well, actually, it's going to be the Sharks getting one back off the kickoff, and I said it in the last series, but such is Rocket League. It is such as Rocket League. That's an unfortunate kickoff. Ends up going a little bit more in the way of Bledsoe. Still, three goals scored between the two teams. First 60 seconds, not even gone. We have 409 left here. And once again, the Sharks going to win on the kickoff, but straight to Galbertos to take this one out in the skies. And Bledsoe with the on the ground clear straight to Woozle. Woozle a little bit messy with the ball, but still keeps control. Flying everywhere like a flappy fish. He's looking a little bit more like a shark than right, a panda but he still keeps control of the ball off the ceiling. Gonna go back down to the blue half of the field for the Sharks and Bledsoe. Soft clear, a little bit low on boost, and right now the Pandas, they have the control, they have the shots, and they have the goals in their favor, but can they keep the game in the way the direction is heading? Yeah, they're gonna have to hold on to the ball. Be careful with the ball, don't let the Sharks have, uh, have too much time and space and boost with the ball. And right now, the Sharks are doing a good job of beating this Pandas team in the midfield. They're getting the touches they need to prevent the Pandas from playing offense. That was a good save there by Woozle. The Sharks were on the transition, counter-attack, no goal results of it. Pandas hold strong in defense, but the Sharks currently are pushing. The Pandas need to find a clear as soon as possible, and that is not it. Galberto's good thing they got the touch there. A miss would have turned into a Sharks goal uh, on the goal line like that. Now they're trying to hit on the counterattack. Woozle up for it. Goes for the back wall read. Couldn't get it. That's left for Galberto's, whose shot is saved by Bledsoe. Pandas fighting back. They're not going to just retreat into defense like the Sharks, I'm sure, would want them to. These Pandas, they can hit you back on these counterattacks. He certainly can. That's going to be left a little bit dangerously. It does go wide. Hobo with control picks up his back. Boost, 100 boost in the tank. Going to get beat out by Woozle with the dunk. And that's going to be an open net oh. to shoot at dead center. Hobo going to tie up the score at two apiece. Galbertos got caught out right there. A great beat by Bledsoe to set up Hobo with the open net. The Sharks, they're finding their way back into this game. The Pandas need to be cautious. They need to be more cautious than they were right there, allowing a player to get too far up the field. As sure, the Sharks have only scored on kickoff goals and uh, open net m mistake punishments. So the Sharks, well, uh, hold on, hold that thought. As the Pandas put in a third, I was talking about the Sharks offense, but the Pandas offense shows up in the form of Galbertos in his solo play. Galberto has basically been the powerhouse right now. Boozle at his side. One play out of Galberto slots at left side of the goal. 3 2 in the way of the Pandas. And right now, the 50 off the kickoff goes neutral. The shot not going to go through. Another one gets the bump. Going to go wide, though. And Galberto is going to send this one over to the corner. But back out into the middle. Where's the Sharks player? There is none. Finally comes through is Hobo, and right now the Sharks, they have the opposition at their hand. Going to drop this one down. No, the defense of Galberto is strong and mighty. Hobo going to send this one through with the 50. But so up now in the sky is going to put this one in front of the net by Woozel. And Woozel just going to throw this one long with the spine going to be there on that side oh. of the ball. Oh, unlucky save, and Galberto gonna get the fourth and they're up by two yeah interesting rotations out of the pandas at the moment I, I will point out but they are making up for it on the offensive end definitely galberto's making up for it on the offensive end four goals on five shots they have come to play in this series and the pandas have a two goal advantage good pass over from woozle that's good awareness trying to set up galberto's for success they're not able to capitalize on this they weren't in the perfect position to fire one on net off of Woozle's pass into the Sharks. We'll have a chance to break out. Galbertos has to defend well and 
They do, for the most part, Wuzel will actually gonna put a shot on their own neck, Alberto's good save. That was almost uh, a costly goal, letting the Sharks back in this game uh, late in the final minute. But the Pandas hang on and put some offense on the board of their own. Yeah, and right now Blitzel looking for his own opportunity, gonna be 50 all the way back down to the blue half of the field. Hobo, his own chance here, gonna go high though. Maybe with Blitzel gonna follow this one up, gonna have to turn off of it though. Let's get the boost deal from Galberto. Galberto is gonna pick up the corner boost though, gets the boost deal. And right now, maybe boost start from Hobo. Hobo, he's controlled the ball, but loses it to Galberto's once again. And right now the Pandas really, Galbertos is being the MVP of the match. And with 20 seconds left on the clock, the Pandas really putting the fight on to the Sharks. The Sharks putting another shot on under 10 seconds now. And with this clear, that's gonna wind the clock all the way down. Shot on Galbertos with his fifth, all five of them in his name with only four seconds left on the clock. Yeah, Galbertos came to play in this series, simple as that. So did the Pandas. Woozle, of course, setting up Galbertos for uh, for a couple of those goals. And I I want to see what happens later on in this series when the Pandas' offense isn't playing perfectly. If that ever happens, of course, Galbertos could keep popping off along with Woozle and the Pandas keep dominating. But their defense has looked a, a little sketchy at times. The Sharks just have not been able to capitalize on those sketchy moments for the Pandas. So... It'll be uh, an interesting thing to keep an eye out for as we go deeper into this series and things start to settle down. Um, if the offense of the Pandas keeps outlasting their defensive mistakes. If you want to outlast your opponent, you need to in this moment right now, Sharks, because right now they're frying you up in the fry pan and it might not taste very good, but it sure might be an appetizing meal. Game one in the books to the Panda Sharks lurking a little bit too far. They got the fins out of the water, but certainly not going to pull the gills out just yet. Right now, the teeth a little bit too far behind the bite. And if you want to continue this on, you have to push through. The offense not there. The defense certainly going to get caught out almost every single time. And it was Galberto's. Oh, well, actually, no, not almost. Every single time it was Galberto. So we barely saw any woozle on offense. He was there as the supporter, man. He was always that second man getting the passes through. Or Galberto was just taking that one all the way. He's just the superstar. But if you can close down on him, that may be the ender for the Pandas. Yeah, if you take Galberto out of the equation, you take a big part of their offense out as well. So... We'll see what strategy the Sharks take into game number two. Of course, they need to improve their goal turnover rate. They had seven shots, only able to turn two of them in, while uh, on eight shots, the Pandas turned five of them in. That'll, that'll come with time. Uh, of course, I think as the Sharks get further into this series, they just need to get their wheels underneath them here. That's a great challenge by Bledsoe, and already the Sharks getting it done in offense. They're gonna open us up here 15 seconds in, and Galbertos didn't know Bledsoe was that close. Tried to get it up on the hood and couldn't flick it away in time. The Sharks, especially Bledsoe, they smell the blood in the water and strike first with that vicious bite of the jaw. And right now the 50 off the kickoff goes in the way with Hobo on the Sharks. And they pop tie by Galbertos picks up the mid boost and Woozle there to follow this one up. Possession given up over to the Sharks. Side by side the Sharks are and Woozle Gonna interrupt, pull the play. Out of boost though, both of the Pandas players very low on boost. Galberto finally picks up some. Gonna be turned away now by the Sharks. 40 seconds off the clock now, the pinch comes through. Off the ceiling, Bledsoe just taking his time, waiting for this one to come down. Gets the catch and now gonna be a neutral 50. Gonna go absolutely nowhere. Picks up the midfield boost, gets the flick. Look to the top corner, just gonna be off the woodwork. And now the clear goes all the way down, but gonna be pinched out of the way. And the Sharks continue the pressure, but the clear finally comes out by the Pandas. Yeah, it's a weak clear though. Bledsoe's gonna catch, have an opportunity to set up his teammate in the Pandas box. It won't happen, but that was uh, scary for a moment there for the Pandas. And rather than turn it into offense, um, they, they, they are forced to continue to play defense because of that weak clear. So Sharks, that's a double demo right there. Bledsoe 
trying to wreak havoc on the goal line of the Pandas. Again, the Sharks can't turn it into goals just yet. Good block there by Galbertos, but only one shot despite all of the possession. Now a second shot um, from the Sharks, but all of that possession and you've only gotten two shots on the board. The Sharks, they're going to have to find ways to test the goal line defense of the Pandas more than they are right now. Oh, Ooh, that oh, no. would have been a great shot. We nearly would have had to get the protractor out, but sent over into the blue corner. It's been quite a dangerous one here for the Pandas. Two minutes down, three to go. And Bledsoe and Hobo really picking up the pace, but the Pandas keeping side by side right now in the blue corner with the Sharks. Gonna keep in front of him. Bledsoe pops one high. 40 boost here to work with off the backboard. Cleared out by Galbertos and Hobo up in the sky to knock this one away. Gonna be picked up here. One boost left. Gets the bump instead. It interrupts oh. the play. Galbertos holds strong. He's a truck in the way. Parking that bus right where it should be. Gonna make the save. And now the Sharks continuing on the offense with the clears are coming out by the Pandas. And maybe a shooting opportunity. No, gonna be turned over into the corner. And the Sharks, they're being hammered, being shot at. But the Sharks, of course, returning fire when they can. Yeah, and I, I've been a little critical of Galbertos' defense uh, this series. But that was a clutch save that he had a moment ago. That was so good. And it sets up the Pandas' offense like this. He finishes the job, fires that one into the back of the Sharks' net. And Bledsoe, not how you want to clear the zone there, man. You got out of the box, but you let it get a little bit too far out in front of you, and Galbertos right there in position to take advantage. Being in position can only help so much, but if you're a player like Galbertos in Champion League, especially if you're on the Pandas facing against the Sharks, you have to be on target at 100% at all times. But right now the Sharks, they're battling back. Hobo with the clear, looking for the shot. That's an open net but no option here to shoot. Bledsoe looking for the pass, just ends up going towards the net and a little bit of a team bump between the Sharks. You know, he popped high, Bledsoe, good catch. Gonna send this one down straight to Galbertos though. Demo comes out on Woozle. Hobo, gonna get the bump once again on his own half. Puts it in front of himself on top of the hood. Cannot see much though, but does get the Flick away to Wuzo. Oh, that's an ugly whiff. And now it's going to be slightly off. The angle coming through. Going to oh. bounce off the post. And Hobo there to finish off the play with 69 seconds left on the clock. And Bepic, it's looking like this one could bring us into overtime if they shoot how they want to shoot. Yeah, they're going to need some more opportunities, though, this Panda squad. They've not they've had four shots on the board, but they've not had the bulk of the possession in this game, and that's something that is a, uh, a huge difference when you compare it to game one. It's, it felt like the Pandas were living in the Sharks' half um, in game one. That's why we saw Galbertos being as dominant as he was, but he's cooled off a bit, been forced to cool off a bit by this Sharks team that's trying to control possession a bit more, control the ball when they're leaving their half. So uh, this boomer defensive strategy that we that we see sometimes out of teams doesn't give the Pandas more space to work with, but all right, well, I'm talking about defensive strategies. Let's talk about offensive strategies. See the open net, shoot the ball straight into that open net, and that's exactly what Woozle did. The Pandas tie us up. I called this one even before it even happened. I said we were going to see overtime, and we may still have the opportunity. The 50 does go in the way of the Sharks. Woozle going to send this one far and long. so going to make the catch. No, he's going to send this one far. Galberto's going to knock this one straight down. Tries to get the follow-up. Not going to have the control, though. Picks up the midfield boost. Giving up over to Woozle. Woozle going to get the neutral 50. Going to go nowhere. Hobo out of boost, though. Just trying to play this one out. Tries to get the infield pass. He does get it through, but teammate too far oh, behind. That's no. Pata over. The chance right there go on, and Galberto's going to get the go-ahead goal with six seconds left on the clock. Oh, what? So that's... That's a, a critical error at a critical joint, a critical point in game two. Your last man right there. You got to know your last man right there. Diving in for that challenge is incredibly risky, especially when overtime is on the horizon, which it still very well may be. I think the Sharks may have just been bailed out by a good kickoff. 
Good kickoff indeed. Good tap in the middle of the field. And Hobo there. Good sheet up by him. Slapped it straight through the net. Three seconds on the clock here. Overtime is looming. Certainly going to roll off the sidewall. Teams may let this one roll. No, the Panthers oh. keep it going. Oh, the shot goes off. Going to be saved away. But the pain is still here on offense. Bloodso trying to get this one to drop down. It finally does. And we see overtime. And Mr. Bepic gets our first one of the series. We only had one in the previous one. It was a short but energetic one. And right now, we're going to start off in the blue end. Yeah, that we are. And of course, it's going to be Galberto. So as soon as we just got started, he's going to finish it 11 seconds into overtime. And uh, he, he's got three of the four goals. Woozle did get on the board this time around, but the overtime finisher is Galbertos. And uh, the Pandas, they deserve to win that overtime after nearly losing it because of a kickoff. That, uh, th that would have been tough to swallow if you are a Pandas fan, but they got it on overtime. They are up 2-0 in the series. Being up 2-0, especially against the number one team in CL doubles, and that's a little bit of a hard statement to say because of how strong the Sharks have played all season long. But now, right now, the Pandas, they're match with match. And right now, they are a step ahead of them every single time. Take two games in a row, forcing the Sharks to try to get a reverse sweep to take the series. But the Sharks, all they need is one game, one game win to clinch the playoffs because right now that's the number one goal that they need but they would certainly like to keep that number one spot definitely the number one spot is crucial going into these playoffs because in the division you uh you you want those top a seating in the top four and if you come in second in your division you're knocked all the way down to fifth at the highest and that's exactly what the pandas are feeling at the moment sitting in that number five spot in the conference but they don't look like the number five team right now they are taking it to the sharks at the moment and they look good doing it they certainly do good they are certainly good looking out there they're looking like they are wanting to go get their fingernails done like all pretty and such so but maybe not, maybe just the fins, because right now, or the claws, the claws of the pandas, they're kind of sharp, they're kind of mean. But right now, they are kind of mean to the sharks. The sharks, their teeth are a little bit rotting, because you haven't won a single game, and the pandas, they've been clawing them out, and probably eating them as a snack at this moment in time, because the pandas, they're starting on offense, the sharks get the clear. Not gonna go very far though, and Hobo, good passing play, Bloodstow, look at the shot, gonna go wide though. Ball up here, gonna be saved away into the corner, and the Pandas, great save in the end with the third, first 30 seconds in the books, but Woozle gonna secure one goal, 30 seconds down, plenty of time left to go. Yeah, great setup by Galbertos for Woozle. Hobo had no chance on that one, having to cover the entire goal there at the end. So the Pandas just picking up right where they left off after their overtime win. They are dismantling this Sharks team. It was, it was a lot closer in game number two, but as it stands in game three, the Pandas are looking offensively dominant. Already with a goal 30 seconds in. If they can just defend well this game and keep their offense going at the pace it's currently playing at, they, I think, are going to clinch this series win. They almost certainly will. All you need is one more to get it. it was trying to be a shot, but a little bit well, you know, way too soft here. Alberto's gonna get beaten out, looking for the angle. Bledsoe, Hobo there, gonna be knocked away off the backboard. Woozle gonna be beaten out here. Popped high, Alberto's is up. Gonna get that second touch off the 50, and Bledsoe with this to come down. Out of boost now, picks up the midfield boost. Woozle. And up in the skies, 30 boost yet to work with. Now I'm going to pick up that small pad, but now going the opposite direction to the Sharks half of the field. Going to be a touch long clear. Galbertos is down in the backfield to clear this one away. 1-0 still the Pandas approaching that two minute mark very quickly. And the Pandas currently leading. It's not looking the greatest for the Sharks and they are not giving us the show that we were expecting. 
Yeah, but they're only down one at the moment, and things can change like they almost did right there. Woozle, great save. You made a mistake, but you made up for it immediately. The Sharks, they thought they had a freebie. A uh, freebie equalizer, but that is not the case. Now, Galberto's trying to double the lead. Not going to happen. A little overzealous of a play right there. Wasn't able to make contact. But the Pandas hang on to possession for the time being. And the more possession they have, the harder it's going to be for the Sharks to score. It's been, it's been all Pandas. This game, for the most part, we've seen two shots out of the Sharks. One of them being very deadly and potentially... A, uh, a strong shot to come out of that, but not the case, and 1-0, the Pandas lead remains. It still remains here, good passing play over to the sidewall, and Alberto's going to pick this one up once again. Had a little bit more time, Wuzo going to challenge, looking very dangerous here for the Pandas, an easy pickup by Hobo, and we are tied at one apiece with 2.10 left on the clock. Yeah, overzealous were the Pandas there. Pushing for that second goal, and the overcommitment gets punished by the Sharks. So, if you're finding it difficult to get good opportunities on net, just wait your opponent out. Try and force those mistakes, or wait for mistakes to happen um, on the side of your opponents, then capitalize on them. That's what Hobo and Bledsoe did right there, and that is what, is what has brought us even. So, the Pandas, they have had uh, most of the control in this game so far, but the Sharks are in a tie game. So you, you take that and you you just find ways to wear down the Pandas defense. And you're gonna be in a good spot like that. Oh, oh the shot no. opportunity missed by Hobo. That should have been a Sharks goal on the counter attack, but instead it turns into a two goal swing. The Pandas hit right back. And it's two one in favor of that Panda squad. I thought the defense was going to get back in time, but Galbertos just beats him out and gets the demo as well to inflict more pain. 2-1 the scoreline in the way of the Pandas, 93 ticks left on the clock. This one is so certainly in needed for the Sharks, they do not want to go down 3-0 in the series. Because then that already guarantees the series win for the Pandas, but plenty of time left on the clock. Lucan for the back of the defender, they get past Woozle though. And the demo does come through. Albertos and Bledsoe going to tie up here. 50. Now Hobo going to come through with the touch. And now pushed over the net. Going to be cleared back out, but only made it as far as Hobo. Albertos clear out over to Woozle. Woozle misses on the touch. And now a back over. Shooting opportunity. Going to be a whiff. Albertos low on boost. Slight clear. And Bledsoe back in possession. Over to the side wall. The Sharks looking a little bit weary here because they do not have the control until finally picked up by Bledsoe. High flick, going to be off target though. And Galbertos has a little bit of time here. Woozle going to be knocked out. Shooting opportunity, good. Clear out by Woozle with the save. And the Pandas, they're getting hammered on. But once again, the defense is a brick and they do not want to be letting go or the tower will tumble. Yeah, and now they're going to be rewarded with a goal on the other end, potentially. <laughs> oh, it's going to be saved by the Sharks. I thought that was going to be a transition attack goal by the Pandas, but now they may have pushed a little bit too hard. Fortunately, Woozle gets back in time. Galbertus had a huge miss in the midfield, but Woozle covers his tracks, and the Sharks are going to have to make a zero-second play happen. They won't, and the Pandas take the series. But they still have two games to play for here. A five-game win over these Sharks would be huge for the Pandas. That certainly will. Sharks, once again, they're still looking for that one-game win that they are in needed search or dreaded shirt, uh, search for to clinch their way into the playoffs. They're number one overall, so all you need is one game, one game only. But the Pandas, they're showing up. They're putting on the fight. They took away all the teeth. Right now, it's just a bunch of gum sticking with them. And it's not a lot to say without any shark teeth. It's really just a little bit disappointing to see from Bledsoe and Hobo. I know they're way better players than this, but either Galberto and Woozer are outmatching them or they're just having a bad day. 
Yeah, I think it is the former. The Pandas are playing very, very well defensively to shut down the Sharks' offense, especially in Game 3. We've seen the Sharks, I mean, they scored three in the in the second game, so it's not this entire series that their offense has disappeared. It has been just in moments in Games 1 and 3 that the Pandas have been able to find ways to shut them down. We'll see if it continues here in Game 4. It's going to be critical for the Pandas to continue to shut down this offense because we saw in Game 2 what happened when the Sharks got going. They forced that overtime. A bit fortunately, I might add, with that kickoff goal. Uh, but the Pandas, they have done a good enough job to get to three wins. So the momentum is on their side. They just have to keep it that way. Five minutes on the clock here, Mr. Bepic. And we're going to start the way of the Pandas. Hobo going to get the touch out just to get a slight clear. Low on boost, though. We have to go for the 50. Bledsoe going to turn on this one. Has some time to work with. Gonna get in the way is Woozle. Galberto's in net, waiting for the shot to come through. A double commit between the two Pandas players, but not gonna be punished for it. Galberto's looking for the net, gonna be turned away by Hobo. A three quarters of the way down the pitch, and now Bledsoe make the catch from his teammate. Gets it around. No, cannot get it around Woozle. And right now the Sharks start hurting a little bit, but certainly it's going in the right direction. Yeah, that's a good setup there for Hobo. They just going to get up to it in time because Wuzo was already there on the defense. So, the possession going the way of Sharp for the most part in the, the first 50-ish seconds of this game. They need to keep it that way. They need to keep Pandas out of offense. They need to keep Gilbertos out of offense because he has been lights out this entire series offensively. And Wuzo trying to do the same. Great shot right there by Wuzo. And a 68 mile an hour rocket that was sent into the Sharks net. Galberto's forced Bledsoe off the line. Hobo with the miss off the back wall. It's just chaos at the moment on the Shark back line. Chaos indeed. Not exactly what you expect out of the Sharks out of the opening gate, but in this series, anything is possible to go against the Sharks. There's not a lot going for them. The save does come through in the end and right now. Boozle trying to get in the way. Galberto's gonna send this one off the back Looks for the double tap. No boost left in the tank. 50 now credited to Hobo. A little bit out of position. Oh, oh that's a dangerous one. And Woozle going to win the 50 and put the second one on the board for the Pandas. Yep, awkward play by Hobo in the corner leads to this. And Woozle, fantastic 50. That's one of those that you're content if it goes to the opposite corner and gets you some possession. And best case scenario, you get a goal out of it, like Woozle did right there. And now off the kickoff, it's going to be Galbertos for the solo play. Off the ceiling, what does Galbertos have? They have nothing, as Bledsoe was right there to shut the play down before any kind of spark kept this Panda's momentum blowing up in the, uh, in the Sharks' face. Though it is going to be a third goal for the Pandas. A bad touch off the bat wall by Bledsoe, flipping it and just uh, throwing their car out of position and letting the ball get away from them. Easy pickings for the Pandas at the moment. Easy pickings indeed. Galberto's getting his first on the board in game number four. Certainly not the greatest start from the Sharks. Not even anything on the board to credit them. But Galberto's back in possession. Goes for the dribble. Goes for the flick. Tries to get the second one over Bledsoe. But Bledsoe denies him. And Woozle in the backfield. Clears this one out to the opposing side of the half. And Hobo there to read that one. 20 boost to work with. Looks at the shot. Tries to get the double. And Bledsoe now going to have to race back. Having a race against Woozle. And Bledsoe is going to win him on the race. Galberto's waiting for this touch. Going to turn off the challenge. But yet still going to be there for the second one. Cleared off the backboard. Coaching halftime, the Sharks in dreaded need of a goal to get themselves back within it. Oh, that was oh. a great opportunity with the pass. And Mr. Bepic, that was a great opportunity. But right now, the Sharks, they are hurting for anything to go their direction because right now, everything is against them. Yeah, if uh, for context, that was Hobo's, that was the Sharks' first shot on net. That was a close opportunity by Woozle right there. Saved by the post were the Sharks. But, uh, those two weak shots that we just saw Hobo and Bledsoe put on net were the Sharks' first shots in this game with about two minutes left to play. So they're finally finding some offense, but the Pandas are doing what they did to the Sharks in game three. 
on a magnified scale here in game four. They are shutting the Sharks down completely offensively. There has been nothing on the Pandas' side that has been threatening. That one probably the most threatening shot that the Pandas, uh, the pandas have had to save. And uh, if they keep doing this, it's, it's, it's going to be really difficult for the Sharks to get that one game win to avoid the, uh, the perfect 5-0 sweep in game five. The difficult is not even the half of it sometimes for the Sharks. Anything and everything is against them right now. Let's see not even the greatest touch from Blood Cells. Alberto's having the night of his life here in Rocket League. 70 seconds left on the clock here, and the Pan is still up 3 0. Also, 3 0 in the series scoreline. Blood Cells there to make the stop. Uses a bunch of boosts to try to get there, but Wuzel gonna outbeat him. How looking at 55 seconds on the clock now. Gilberto's gonna send this one down. Hobo, no boost there. Just gonna have to flick this one long. Gilberto's finally gonna get demoed for all his efforts. Gonna a little bit angry, but Woozle there. Doesn't need any help. Gets the hat trick for the game, and they're up by four. This is a statement series by the Pandas. A statement game. They are just dismantling the Sharks at the moment. And they, they're taking the number one team in the conference and blowing them completely out of the water. There are shark bits everywhere on the, on the ocean due to these pandas just playing fantastic Rocket League. 30 seconds left. The Sharks need something to take into game number five. And there it is. Bledsoe going to help me out right there and just make me look like a genius as uh, the Sharks do get something to go into game five. Great setup by Hobo. Was indeed a very good setup. Good momentum to bring themselves in. 31 seconds left on the clock. Another kickoff on the way. Going to go neutral here off the ramp of the ceiling, but another shot here by Woozle. Saved away, and Bledsoe going to get the redirect up to Hobo. Bledsoe, another touch. Another awkward done, though. And Galberto's going to take control of the ball. Alberto's, I, no, Bledsoe going to pick up the boost, that one's gonna be off target off the post now in 10 seconds remaining here. 4-1, the scoreline may end up resulting in if no other goals are gonna be scored in these final few seconds. Gonna drop down, possibly. Galberto's gonna keep this one alive. Bledsoe just trying to send this one down. He does. Pandas take game number four. Looking to get out those brooms and mops out of the janitor's closet because they are one game away from a clean sweep against the number one team, Sharks. Yeah, and what a statement that would be. I, I'm i shocked at what we've seen here. I thought this would be a much closer series, but the Pandas came in with a game plan tonight against these Sharks, and they have executed to perfection. Only one game really has been super close. Of course, that overtime game was was tight, and the, we had a 2-1 a affair in the in the previous game. And not, well, not the game number four, but game number three, of course. It's been the Pandas, and they have found ways to keep the Sharks at bay, Xandar. So kudos to them. The Sharks, they need this Game 5, and I want to see what they change to take this Game 5. I love to see that as well. Game number 5 just ahead, but certainly not going to be... It's either going to be one for the ages, or it's just going to be another disappointing one by the Sharks. It's certainly... Gonna be looking like a lot of shark fin soup eaten by the pandas. They certainly do love the taste of it. Game number five on the way, gonna be five minutes on the clock, but right now, the hopes of the Sharks fans are not looking very high. They look a little bit demoralized, so they might need to get themselves a little bit of a little bit of an extra hand here, because right now they're hurting for help and they need it soon. Yeah, if they could have a, a third player on the pitch right now to take down this Pandas team, maybe a, a 3v2, that would be very nice. Woozle, clean beat on the kickoff. What happened here? Uh, just a, a straight, fast kickoff. Woozle catching out the Sharks early, and uh, Hobo going to be wishing he had at least made a little bit of contact on that ball. Certainly would have Woozle again going to win the kickoff. Hobo going to get out beaten by Alberto to the boost. Oh. Going to be an awkward clear and Woozle going to be an awkward touch here at neutral 50. Woozle going to be turned around. Shooting opportunity. Alberto's races back. Going to win the 50 once again. Going to be a slow roller and opportunity. Oh. And Hobo 
the ones player right now against the control and we're at a tie ball game with plenty of time left on the clock. That was one of the most awkward transition plays I, I've seen in a while. Ho did a great job, didn't have a whole lot of boost to their name, couldn't get directly behind the ball, but they won that 50. Then they bumped the last man out of the way. Great play there by the Sharks. Sometimes scrappy plays like that are what you need to get yourself back situated into a series. The Sharks, they have us tied up temporarily, but it's going to be back in the Pandas' favor. Galbertos gets it done on the offensive end. Alberto spin that player all night long trying to secure that MVP all five games away and with 426 left on the clock two to one the pandas are and they're looking very strong hot 50 off the kickoff blood so can pick up no boost you know pop this one just slightly and just got to go up for this one uses all his boost completely out the shooting opportunity for hobo but Alberto's back there in time to turn this one away. Alberto's long clear out off the ceiling, gonna drop straight down. But right now there's one defender left in the backfield for the Panthers, gonna pop this one high. Alberto's good play off of the defense and the Sharks. They can't get anything past that man. He is a brick wall and not willing to give an inch. No, the, the whole Pandas team is a brick wall at the moment. They're one of those huge pandas that just takes up an entire doorway. They are shutting down the Sharks offensively still in game five. That has continued all the way from game four. The Sharks, they did get that one off a great play from Hobo and a good save from Bledsoe prevent the third goal from being turned in when I was talking a second ago, but the third goal will be turned in uh, just a couple seconds later. Bledsoe couldn't make that secondary save happen. Yeah, we're looking at possibly another blowout. Three and a half minutes left on the clock here to be played. The Sharks, you got one, being down by two. Got plenty of time left to work with, but right now you need to gain control because right now it's been the Pandas all series long. You may want to shift, turn oh. the tide around, and Bloodsoe going to do that right there. Double tap back within one. Hey, that is how you get back into a game right there with a huge play by Bledsoe, reading it to perfection off the back wall, and they have brought the Sharks back within one. I hope that has lit a fire underneath this Sharks team because they need a fire to get going, a raging fire to get momentum back on their side. Here we go, Bledsoe taking it down. They need this goal right here. They could, well, they could really use that goal right here. I don't know if they need it, but some momentum continuing to pile in onto their side would be very, very nice. Not gonna happen as the Pandas defense stays strong. What else is new? They're gonna transition out of their defensive end and into offense. Certainly is nothing new. Besides, the entire defense is gonna be cleared off the field. Trying to get blockouts now. Bloodsoe gains control. The uh, the defenders are right on top of him. Looks for the pass into the middle. Gonna wait on that one though. Oh. Does slot it and Bloodsoe gonna get us to a tie ball game. Three apiece just at halftime. And Hobo, well, well actually close Bloodsoe. They actually stole that goal. I, I'm now noticing, but Bloodsoe did a perfect job of setting that one up. And the Sharks, just like that, they are in it. They are in it to win it. They need that one game win just, just to have something going into their future matches. And this is the way to do it. They have found ways to make goals happen and they're using that momentum. They've put fear into the Pandas' eyes and these Pandas, they are being forced to play scared now. Bledsoe fires that one into the top of the net and the Sharks, just like that, have taken the lead. They certainly have taken the lead. They've seemed to have grown their shark teeth back. The bite is at full strength. And with 218 left on the clock, up by one with this 4-3 to three score line. Might be done quickly. Galberto's looking for the top shelf. Hobo there to make the save. Another one coming through. Gonna be a 50 there by Blood so dangerously in front of the net. Woozle facing the wrong direction. Gonna let this one bounce. Actually gets the clear out though. Bounce off the ramp. Awkward here for Blood so now. Gonna put this one over into the middle. Hobo gonna outbeat him. Bouncer Galbertos can't get there. And Hobo with the Sharks go up by two. Yeah, the defense of the Pandas no longer that brick wall. Galbertos with the backflip. A mistake we haven't seen from the Pandas since about game one. 
that's that's uh the pandas having to respect this sharks team even more hobo and bledsoe are making galbertos and woozle think more in defense before this they were just playing confidently they they, they were reading rocket league at light speed but now the sharks have put a little bit of fear into this panda's defense and now we'll find a six there because of it but Luzel and Galbertos, they're having to hesitate and, and wonder if they're making the correct play. I almost get a goal back. Galbertos, I like the aggression. Not going to work out this time. But with about 80 seconds left on the clock, the Pandas have time yet to get back in this. Certainly do. Galbertos waiting there in the midfield. Going to pop this one high. Looking for the tap and not going to be able to get there. Does get the boost deal though. Woozle there for the 50. Going to win that one very finely. Galberto's now in control. Looks for the shot. Going to be turned away by Bloodsoe and Woozle in the midfield here. Has Bloodsoe on his tail. Now Hobo yet to be beaten. Hobo there on the backboard. Going to be punched high into the ceiling. Oh. Looking for the shot. Going to be just off target and now turned over to the sidewall. Hobo looking for his own opportunity on the counterattack, maybe for the pass into the midfield, but not going to be so. Roberto's 50, good one there. The clock is winding down, being down by two. Might be a game win for the Sharks, but the defense needs to hold strong for the next 22 seconds. Oh. Not going to be good at Woozle. Going to bring it back within one with 21 ticks on the clock left. Brilliant play by Galbertos. They slowed it down to send, uh, I think that was Bledsoe, flying. And then they find Woozle on the other side of the box, not trying to force it in there with a 50, uh. but using their teammate to their advantage. And now, the pan has the chance off the kickoff. Woozle is denied by Hobo. 15 seconds on the clock. The Pandas can still do this. They found their footing back underneath them. Thanks to a great play by Galbertos, who is heading down the line with the ball. Shut down immediately by Bledsoe. How good has Bledsoe been in this game? A hat trick on five shots and five saves defensively. The clock has hit triple zeros, and Bledsoe is going to try and spike it. They're not going to find it. Now Woozle's up. The shot denied by Hobo, and the Sharks get their first game win of the series in Game 5. They certainly do. Game 5 goes in their way. The series ends up going to the Pandas still 4-1, but they do not bring out the brooms at the Janitor Closet. That will stay close, at least here for tonight. But the Sharks get that Game 5 victory, get the one game win that they need to clinch playoffs. So congratulations to the Sharks. You have made it to the playoffs. You can sit easy for the next couple of weeks. Still got to play, though, but yeah, at least you can sit a little bit easier in your nice, comfy chair. Yep, congratulations to them for getting that final game win. They did a great job of battling back despite all of the adversity that they faced in this series. And speaking of adversity, Pandas coming into this series with adversity being that underdog. They shut down the Sharks for probably about 75% of this series. Kudos to them. Kudos to both these teams. They have had stellar seasons, and oh, they're not done yet. Both these teams most likely going to playoffs. Of course, you said the Sharks have clinched already, so you will see them in the postseason. But this Pandas squad, they deserve to be in the postseason. Almost clean sweeping the number one team in this conference. That was a great performance by this Pandas squad. And going into their next matches, their opponents should be afraid. They certainly should be. But that is going to wrap things up here on MLE.GG2. We had a lot of great matches here tonight, but we'd like to thank them to, for playing here on stream. But we had Simple AOB as our producer for the night. Panis, or actually Pass, for our match official and B++ in the back end as well as our match official. And Mr. Bepic, great honor to cast with you once again. And I'm Xandar57. That's going to wrap things up. But we are going to head over to a raid to MLE.GG1. So we will see you guys over there with Captain Ahsoka and Maple.